<laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's cool shit. Yeah, I think there's only four. Really weird, but really cool. Hello everyone, my name is Piotr Opatski and uh, today I will demonstrate my Masters of Engineering uh, project, the Transparent Tank. It is a system of augmented reality displays for future combat vehicles. I have based my system around the Oculus Rift TK2 head-mounted display, as well as Ricoh Theta S 360 degree camera. So, let's take a look. If you imagine troops uh, who drive armored vehicle in battlefield situations, if they wanted to look freely uh, around the vehicle, they would be exposed to dangerous enemy fire. However, if a spherical camera is used uh, to provide the troops inside the vehicle with uh, the images of the outside world, the troops stay safe. This is the main objective of the project. So, to navigate the way uh, around the user interface, I provided the user with this programmable keypad. And I've presented the keypad on a virtual panel to provide the user with feedback on which option is activated. Let's take a look at the user's point of view camera. This camera provides the user with uh, the view of his own hands to prevent uh, placing them in hazardous areas inside the vehicle, as well as localizing appropriate controls. There's a camera uh, specifically mounted at the front of the vehicle, which is meant to assist the driver with uh, maneuvers like bridge crossing. The image is augmented with two lines, which predict the future path of the vehicle. I integrated an unmanned aerial vehicles camera to demonstrate the potential of having access to bird's eye view of a battlefield. Only in this camera mode we can see that there are two snipers hiding on the roofs, but from the ground level there is no way of spotting them. This is a demonstration of a dynamic map which could provide the troops with mission objectives and location of targets. Specifically for each vehicle a maintenance panel can be designed to indicate the condition of all mechanical parts. In this demonstration we can see that the tracks are wearing out and need replacing. Oil level is good the battery status looks good as well. The simulation of a night vision mode was created by converting RGB color space of the spherical image to an HSL equivalent. It is meant to demonstrate the advantage of having actual 
infrared sensor hardware mounted on the vehicle. This is not real night vision. This is only for demonstration purposes and it is simulated. As we can see, if I want to look what's going on behind the vehicle, I have to physically turn my body around and it's not very comfortable. Therefore, I provided the user with a rear facing mode. At the press of the button, the user is virtually turned around 180 degrees and can easily observe uh, the situation at the rear of the vehicle. This provides enhanced situational awareness all around the vehicle. You probably noticed by now that various objects in the scene are marked with different markers. I've created this augmented reality to assist the users with uh, identifying friendly troops, enemy troops, as well as civilians. Looking at the front, we can see the head-up head display, which is meant to assist with aiming, as well as provide geographical information of uh, the direction of vehicle's movement. To the left, we can see a panel with total enemy and friendly troops count. To the right, there is a panel with uh, the crew, crew status. We can see currently uh, in this demonstration, there is four crew members sat in this uh, vehicle. And Thomas uh, has been injured. Uh, moving on, we have vehicle status panel which contains dials like speedometer and a fuel level, as well as uh, ammunition count. At the bottom, we can see uh, a, gra uh, a graphical representation of armor damage. And in this demonstration, I am showing 40% armor damage. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of my transparent tank system and uh, I hope you saw the potential of this technology uh, to, in saving lives of uh, our troops. Thank you for watching.